Hello, uh, my name is Cesar, and after a long wait, uh, I now finally have in front of me the Arkin uh, SH4 Gen 2 4 to 16 scope. Um, it took a long time. Uh, I ordered it in uh, the end of November, right before Thanksgiving, and it just now recently arrived within the week. The reason I picked Arkin Optins over other scopes uh, was for multiple reasons, but. Um, the main one, the most important one to me, and maybe a lot of people like me, um, was the price. So it was only $400, like that's a lot of money. So I was trying to get as much as I could out of my scope for $400. And this thing does a lot, you know, it's very good turrets. Um, there's a lot of like uh, confidence in this in this type of build. It feels very secure. So I already, once receiving this, I had to wait a long time, but I feel like my money wasn't ill spent. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in these turrets and this feel already, so that's a good thing. Um, which leads to the other reasons I wanted a quality, a quality product that could give me that precision. So kind of the bad part about when you want so much out of a, 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 a scope, uh, it ends up falling short in certain categories, right? Because I don't shoot all the time, I don't go hunting all the time. I kind of wanted a scope that could that could kind of try to do everything. That's the, you know, someone that wants everything kind of doesn't know what they want. So that's that's me, but. Uh, I wanted so much out of it, and um, I think Arkin was the best company to give me all that stuff. Um, so again, it has a precision. If I need it there, I think it's definitely air or is more on the side of precision than it is for just hunting. It's a quality build. It if you feel this thing, it is, it is no joke. Uh, it is it is solid, um, and that's where I think my uh, my decision may have gone awry because uh, I was lucky enough to actually get Arkin's SH4 4-14 Gen 1. And then as you can see, I mean, there's like a substantial difference. So one, uh, the size is, length is relatively the same, but we got a 30 millimeter tube versus a 34 millimeter tube. Uh, the objective lens is substantially different. So I believe it's 44 on the Gen 1 and 50 on the Gen 2. Um, but also the capability. So while they both have turret locks, uh, elevations all the same, um, the actual focus is from 10 yards to infinity. And for the uh, Gen 2, it's 25 to infinity. Um, but this does have an extra ring you can see as well is we have illumination. So it has an illuminated reticle. And I wanted uh, to talk about that illuminated reticle too. Uh, it's actually not that good. You know what I mean? In bright settings under six which is his highest setting it, you, it doesn't really do a whole lot um, so it is benefit to have it's a cool little trick that it has up the sleeves but going back to like me wanting the scope that has everything um, it, it, it does it and it does do it I wouldn't call it say it does it well but I do have that uh, ability to do that but I don't see myself using it too well because the actual precision size looking precision side of the scope the dot is actually easier to see um, just with the illumination off for me from what I've looked at it. I've literally just poked at it, looked at it in my backyard. I'm overseeing this hill back here, so it's really easy to, to see for a distance and uh, it's a little bit more beneficial. But um, so I was just lucky enough, I ordered the Gen 2 and I was as I was waiting, I saw someone put up locally that they were selling the Gen 1, this one right here. So I didn't hesitate, I went and bought it and then I was super pumped and waiting. So I got to shoot the Gen 1 and it's a good scope. like. A solid scope it feels great um, it shoots well it's very easy to read um, good focus same thing with the turrets it's got strong turrets uh, strong tactile uh, feedback on the turrets um, it tracks really really well um, and I was lucky enough to to take it on a hunt we went whitetail hunting in a was it for Sam Houston so here in Texas and um, we went for two days, it was nothing crazy, but uh, I think I walked roughly uh, 20 miles. So we stayed out there and did a little bit of, of moving around. And so I'm not one to complain, but like I had that voice in the back of my head, just kind of like whining, complaining, like, dang, this rifle's heavy. So that, that, T, that Tika T3X, it's not that heavy, you know? But I talk about this thing being sturdy and tough, the same thing happens here this one it's it's a the gen one it's a good scope like it is a really good solid scope a lot of confidence in in its ability to kind of just do what it's said it's supposed to do um 
if I knew I was going to get my hands on a Gen 1, I never would have bought the Gen 2 because this one is good. Um, but in those 20 miles of walking, this scope, which I, th what's, what is the weight? 21 ounces, I think it is. It kind of wore on me a little bit and like, I'm a little ashamed to say that, but I mean, 20 miles, it's not a lot to go, but you know, I, it was on my mind where I'm like, dang, this is kind of wearing on me. So after I got home, I checked the, the, the scope or the uh, specifications on the Gen 2 that I knew I had coming and it's uh, 35 ounces, so substantially heavier. And, you know, that causes me to think that, oh, okay, well, maybe, you know, I talk about the scope that I, I want to do so much for me, but it probably can't do any of these too well because I'm trying to stretch it out so much. So is it for hunting or is it for precision? And uh, I would definitely say this is more on the side of precision it has a shooter hunter tag by the sh but it's definitely more of a shooter than it is for hunting because it's heavy this thing is 2.2 pounds as opposed to the gen 1 which i didn't realize was heavy until i started walking with it this gen 1 is 1.3 pounds so there's a substantial substantial difference so again i'm asking so much of the scope the good thing is though is that i'm getting a lot out of this scope we talk about a lot of stuff that it can actually do. Um, I like the idea. When I go out there and I go to do it again, uh, where I go on longer hikes, uh, again, I'm not one to complain, so that's just my life. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna suffer in silence, uh, keep that to myself, but I don't think it'll be that bad. It will wear on me, but at the same time, it's not stopping me from actually running this scope. So a lot of issues came up. While, while I was looking up and waiting for this scope, there are so many people just seeing on the internet that were really upset with Arkin and, um, you know, it came like the opposite. Like, it was just a lot of complaining. But I get it. You know, you pay so much money and you expect to see it. There's people talking about, oh, they just took the money and ran. I mean, the product's here. It took a, took a little bit of time, but it's here and it's and it's good. But they're really upset. And um, I just had this feeling the whole time that kind of people forgot, you know. People forgot why they bought it. Or I don't know why. I don't know why they bought it. But I can tell you why I bought it. I told you some of the reasons. One is I wanted an uh, optic that can do a lot. Um, I wanted a good price, which this is exactly that. I also wanted quality product, one that I could, that I know would last for a while, just like I expect my Tika to last. Um, so I wanted good turrets. I felt very confident in that. And more important, they're a new, relatively new company, and I and I like the idea of actually um, kind of helping them out in their early stage. Not even helping them out is, I mean, they're helping me out. They give me a good product. So I guess I phrased that wrong, but uh, just putting faith in a company and, and sticking it out with them and kind of taking that risk. So I took that risk and a lot of us did. So um, some people along the way, I feel like they got a little upset or were expecting some kind of babying treatment, like give it to me right now, even though you told me about the wait. And um, I just didn't forget that. So for those of us that waited and didn't cancel their order, I think you can be very happy with the product. Uh, it's very good, it's not perfect. But I trust it. I believe in it. I know that it'll do its job. It feels pretty solid. I haven't shot this one in particular, but if it shoots anything like the Gen 1, uh, I know I'm in good hands. It's going to be just fine. Now I want to tell you, now that you made it this far in the video, I want to tell you uh, the issues that I've had with it, right? What kind of issues? I hadn't even shot it yet. So as soon as it came in, right, I got excited. I, you know, did everything with the family uh, and I opened the box up. Box was perfect condition, nothing wrong with it. And then, uh, as soon as I opened it up, it's covered in plastic and I saw just this. And then I was confused. Um, literally, if you can see, the, the box has been punched through um, by the elevation turret. So um, I was kind of a little confused, like how did that happen? Again, the outside of the box was in perfect condition. So I don't know how that worked, but uh, you, you come through and you turn and you can actually see the actual zero stop press through here so I'm a, I don't know if these came from uh, China like that. that's where they came from was China but these are pretty sturdy boxes so there was a lot of pressure pressed on here and um, so I messaged Arkin and I told him about it because I don't know how you are but uh, I kind of like to keep things in relatively good order and I you know I'm not one of those people that keep their shoe boxes but when it comes to a, an optic I'm definitely gonna keep the box and try to keep it in good condition and it came to me like that. So a little disappointed there. So I sent a little letter out and asked about it. And, you know, I didn't tell them the situation. I said, hey, this is what happened. They're like, oh, well, what was said was that 
maybe it was you know they don't deliver things like they used to so i just recently I, yesterday sent that information back up saying that no no the, the box that it came in was in in perfectly good condition and uh i believe after looking at it a little bit more is that it was put in like that so um all i basically want is a box like this like just in good condition i don't it's just a box so i feel like i'm complaining a lot but after waiting a long time the scope's perfectly fine there was nothing wrong with it it feels good um i mean i haven't shot it but again if there is an issue i'm just gonna bring it up to them and then see see what they do but they replied to me pretty quickly um so i just would like a different box and i'm sure they're gonna take care of that but i wasn't so quick to complain now so again it's a good scope i'm happy with it no complaints uh and if you do or if you are patient enough or you're currently waiting, uh, well worth the wait. I think you'll be happy with exactly what you're going to get. So that being said, thanks for listening. Y'all have a good one.